Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you from God our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I have to my left. Minister Rene Jr. Praise God, praise God. Well, we've been talking about God's will is for all men to be saved. We left at um, verse 7. We're going to continue. Um, well, let's go to 2 Peter 3 9. Okay. Um, we, we, we left, we're talking about God's will is for all men to be saved. And we talked about that um, actual, in actuality, everyone on this planet is saved. Because the Bible said that he purchased uh, freedom for everyone, through Jesus Christ, everyone. Um, you know, I was starting to talk about a preacher, Carlton Piston, who said something like, well, you know, he was a great preacher. And he began to say, well, he, he believed everybody go to heaven. Everyone goes to heaven. And everybody is saved, you know, which is kind of true. But he forgot the person point. If everyone is saving the planet, and everybody going to heaven, why did Jesus have to die? So it dispelled the gospel. And it dispelled um, confession of faith. Because if everybody say then hey let's do whatever we want to do we can send we can do whatever live any way we want to live and then you know we're all going to make it heaven that sound like a good deal a very good deal but the key is if it was true um this is why some people say i'm a good person i don't do this i'll do it no no it's not about you being good it's about how you were born yes you were born with a sin disease you were born um, your DNA would not would not be able to make it to heaven and go in. Um, death is a I believe is a witness to why you need salvation. Because the man sent in the flesh, that's why that flesh can't go in. That's why that flesh have to be resurrected. That flesh can't go to heaven. You understand? Your spirit, man, the real you. Because the flesh is your house. Well, your spirit man, who's um, the real you, will make it to heaven. Because that's why the Bible said that um, a man became spiritually dead. Well, what that means that that man not dead. It only talk about self. When you talk about spiritual death, death talk about your spirit was separated from God. You understand that? Your spirit, you ain't die. Because it told him, you know, if I had to use the word, God said in the day that you eat of this thing, you will surely be separated from me. Because to be separated from God is death. So now, um, Jesus Christ came to purchase um, life for everyone on this planet. Remember I was saying, I was talking about the last, um, on, on Wednesday about, you know, if I pay for a full restaurant, for, maybe I pay for, a, for, for dinner for 20,000 people, right? So I paid for them. So whoever came to that restaurant would eat free because I paid for you. Right? Mm -hmm. But what if you? What if I made an announcement and say, "Hey, I paid twenty thousand dollars for twenty thousand people to eat at this restaurant. Anything you want, and you choose not to go in. Will you eat?" Well, if God um, died for everyone, He said, "I purchased salvation for everyone in this planet, every single person." Does that mean you say? What do you have to do? You have to believe. You have to accept the ticket of salvation. You have to punch the ticket of salvation with what? Your tongue. So your tongue is the, 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 the stamp that you have to stamp your thing to say, I confess the Lord Jesus. Now, you, and, and, and the problem with some Christian is this. You think because you confess, that's good enough. You have to live the life that you confess. Yeah. Yes. You understand? You can't say, I confess, and then you're going to go back to living like the world. But you're going to have to live the life of a believer. Yes. Amen. You're going to have to live the life of a confessor. You understand that? So now, we have to understand this. Second Peter told us, all of us are going to make a journey one day. All of us is going to make a journey, and we're going to find out what you believe in that journey because he said this 
right? That, but you must not forget this one thing. Look at this. Always keep this in your mind. Always keep this in your your thought, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. So, one day you live here, and eternity is a thousand years life. Mm. Two days you live here, it's two thousand years in the realm of eternity. Mm. So look at this. So the Lord, your twenty years don't mean none to God. Your thirty years and fifty years and sixty and seven don't mean none to God. Now, the Lord isn't really being slow about His promise. God, God is not slow about coming. To judge mankind. He's not slow about it. As some people think. No. He is being patient for your sake. So that means. Look at this. We are at the end of the last days. <laughs> yeah. And we probably. Are in that realm. Right now. But he's busy trying to look for his comb. So he can take a little bit more time. Nobody here. Uh, mm -hmm. Except where my shoe at. On purpose. Where my shoe at. Where my pants at? Taking a little time. Because you could be out of time already. But he said, look. He ain't slow as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed. What he don't want? He don't want anyone to be destroyed. But wants everyone to do what? Repent. He's given us time to repent. To what, what is repentance? Change your mind. About what? About Him. About what? About living for Him. About what? About doing right for Him. He's giving you a little time. All of us got that time. Come on. All of us was bugging out one time or the other. You got to be careful. You don't bug out too much now. Because when you bug it out, it could be the time when he comes. Um, yes. Now look at this. Um, but the day of the Lord will come as what? Unexpectedly as a thief. Yes. Then the heaven will pass over the terrible noise. And the very element themselves will disappear and fire. And the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. Why? Why well, he coming to judge everything. Yes. Who is he judging? Anyone that didn't receive his son. Who he go? Um... Judge anyone that don't receive this, everyone that mocked him, everyone that made fun, everyone. I mean, it's a, they may have died 20,000 years ago. He's going to wake you up and you're going to tell him, oh, you know, I remember you laughing about this. What's going to happen now? See, death will not, um, you will not escape the judgment days because everybody going to get up. The saints and unbelievers, you're going to get up and you're going to have to face God and tell him and to his face. Oh, so you, you left that evangelist so-and-so in the 1800s? So he's going to wake up every generation, every timeline, and he's going to stand before him. That's going to be a long judgment day. Lord have mercy. Everyone that ever lived is going to come before him. The, the, the saints, he, you know, you got Jesus, he, he's going to be on this side. But anybody else who didn't choose him, anyone else who mocked his son, Anyone else who made fun of his grace, anyone else who made uh, fun of his mercy, you're going to have to answer him. And then he's going to have some angels. The an well, you, you see, to see the Father is something terrible. You're going to see that. They call him the Ancient of Days. Meaning that he, ain't no, he has no timeline. He was the beginning of beginning. He's the end of ending. He's the Alpha and Omega. Before there was anything, he thought it and it was. Yeah. You have to stand before him and tell him why you spit on my face and why you spit on my grace and, grace and my love. Amen. Are oh, you going to stop crying? Yes, yes. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have to my Minister Renee Jr. We have one thing to say. Jesus, Jesus is